baby, this is what you came for. I just feel literally like I'm that girl and we're coming in here and this is what you came for. It's your girl Keeks. Hi, I'm Kiki Palmer and I'm starring in the Audible original Hit Job. And this is our Audible questionnaire. My favorite sound is actually any loud noise. Like I love actually hearing chaos around me for whatever reason, reason it's kind of soothing. My least favorite sound is any kind of rhythmic sound that I can like count on. Like for whatever reason that bugs me. Like if it's like a, I'm like, and any lip smacking. I'm talking about, oh. I'm a Virgo. I can do my best work honestly anywhere, but don't talk to me and try to have a conversation because my thoughts are going and you're interrupting them. I could listen to This Is What You Came For uh, by Rihanna and Calvin Harris a million times. I don't know what it is. That song just makes me feel, baby, this is what you came for. I just feel literally like I'm that girl and we're coming in here and this is what you came for. It's your girl Keeks. This one book that I read when I was in the third grade called Mike Hart Was Here, where it's the introduction of teaching children about death and losing people. And at a young age, reading that book, it really impacted me. Oh my gosh, storytelling, the most, uh, it, I think I just love telling stories and I'm so fascinated with humanity. I, I, as a, at, a, at a young age, I think I didn't realize how much I love storytelling. I just attached it to my love for TV or movies or stage or, you know, even songs. Like I, I didn't realize that it was uh, singing into someone else's world, also being represented in someone else's world or in the world. Those kinds of things are what excite me most about storytelling is saving space for one another, creating spaces for us to be able to be seen, to be heard, to be acknowledged, um, you know, and also to get into the nuances and the dynamics of what it means to be a human being in your society, in your nation, or wherever you are. It's, it's endless. I think the, the hard thing about storytelling is not allowing every story to be told. I think um, sometimes it's hard for a lot of us to tell stories that are specific to us or you know that kind of talk about something that social uh, that society is not ready for. You know, we're kind of coming up against social constructs. I think that's the only thing that saddens me when it comes to storytelling is the fact that everyone doesn't get the opportunity to tell their story. Oh my gosh, plot, character, or setting? That's hard. I'm not as hell-bent on setting as I would be on plot and character. Because you, I mean, how can you have one without the other? You, you know, you, you, your plot is defined by your characters and your characters are defined by your plot. Um, so that's really hard. I mean, if I had to just choose because somebody was just forcing me to choose, then I'd say characters. Who would I want to narrate my life? Jim Carrey because my life is deeply sad, but also wacky and hilarious. And I think that life is a comedy tragedy. I think li literally sometimes the experience can be so isolating, especially as a creative person, you know, in an empathetic person, an empath, I think all artists have that kind of thing. And it leaves us open to feeling things so strongly that, you know, sometimes other people just, you know, move right by, but it's that quality that drives us to storytell, that drives us to want to express because we feel those nuances that sometimes uh, many other of us just skate by. So I would love if Jim Carrey told my story because I think he totally gets it. So I like the sound of my voice, I think now, only because apparently it's kind of unique because there's literally been times where I've got my mask on and I'm in a store and someone hears my voice and they're like, you sound like Kiki Palmer. And I'm like, Kiki Palmer has a sound? Oh my gosh, I write and create for, I think everyone, but definitely my generation because they include so many things and they acknowledge so many things that in the past we didn't acknowledge, whether it's racial issues, sexuality issues, and putting them in a way that is digestible because everything about life is not heavy. Even if it is heavy, sometimes the way we carry it and deal with it, we all create mechanisms that are different for us. Some of us are sardonically witty. Some of us are goofy. Some of us are brute. We all have different ways of expressing how we're carrying this load of living in this world and trying to figure out our direction and trying to understand why we're this and what we're that and whatever we identify as. But I just feel like we are so hyper aware and willing to dive into the dynamics and the nuances. Like I think our whole generation is always why and what if. And I really want to create for those people. You know, I'm gonna go, go spiritual quick. I think as long as God is happy with my work, I'm happy. And I think God is happy when I'm working from my heart. 
Um, it's not defined by these list of crazy judgments or rules. That's not how I see spirituality. I just want to be in alignment with my authentic self. Success to me is doing what you love. Real true success is activating yourself from a place of truth. But it's just, you know, being true to who you are. That's a successful space to be in. Being happy with what you're doing and what you're putting out, being intentional, having your own back. I think, you know, a lot of times we want things in life and we expect everybody to give it to us. But I don't care who you are, ain't nobody giving you nothing. You have to literally go out and do it for yourself. And I think that is the most successful you can be is when you know how to depend on yourself and work from an honest place. So I'm not dead yet, love. Hopefully I got some more achieving to do, but uh, at this point at 27, I think my greatest achievement is being able to still be passionate about what I do. I started doing entertainment, expressing myself within the arts at nine years old, and it's been almost 20 years. And I still have more to say and more to give and more to talk about in different ways. I, I just wrote my first script the other day and I couldn't believe that I even had the capacity to do that. And I'm just like, my love for this, for art, it just continues to grow and expand. And it is, it's like no matter what in my life, no matter what happens, I know that I always have that and it always has me. I can't tell you what that does for me in my life to know that I'm accepted somewhere. All my craziness, all my emotions, all my idiosyncrasies, they're accepted in the arts. And that just, it gives me the biggest, greatest joy of my life. Oh, my perfect day is watching TV, child. I love to sit back and watch TV and binge TV. I was just watching Dead to Me. Now I'm about to start watching Behind Her Eyes. I mean, I'm listening to things, watching things. I mean, it's just I'm always trying to take in new information and also see things from different perspectives. Something that's just going to get my mind moving. And, and I love to be by myself in my house on my couch, honey. I might light something up. Don't get crazy. The guilty pleasure is when I just binge watch Married to Medicine or Real Housewives of Atlanta, girl. I love also reality TV, Temptation Island, the things that these guys do on that island. It gets crazy. You know, some people would be surprised to know that I'm very introspective and I'm not happy and up at 100% all the time. Like there, you know, there are aspects of me that, you know, I get very quiet and I have to recharge because I give a lot of uh, energy out naturally. I don't even always mean to. It just kind of, especially when I'm around people, it's just what I do. Um, and I think people will be surprised to know that a lot of times I have to really take myself away from that because I take in a lot of stuff. And so I can be very introspective, I can be very quiet, I can ruminate on thoughts and I can get, you know, very just the opposite of what you, you see. So I think that's probably something that people maybe wouldn't expect.